One of the biggest moments in human history finally happened. The infamous Rust kernel code was merged into the master branch of the Linux codebase. You heard me correctly, right into the belly of the beast. And guys, this really changes everything. This means that the Linux community will add one more wrench to the toolbox. Next to the buffer overflow, core dumps and the sec faults, here comes the Rust panic macro. Mr. Linus, the goat Torvalds, fat finger the merge button on October the 3rd at 4.39 p.m. Mountain Time. Kudos to Miguel Ojeda, Wetson Almeida, Alex Gaynor and everyone else that was involved in this huge process that only took like three years. Let's remember that Rust is the second language to get this level of integration with the Linux kernel. This will lead to more robust drivers and features built right on the kernel. From what I saw in the git patch, there are still many open problems and drama. For example, for dependency management, there's no cargo.tml where you can just stuff all your dependencies. As you can see in this git issue, Miguel Ojeda clearly says that there's no final decision regarding whether to support external crates or not. One of the cool things about Linux is that you can build it completely offline. And I'm sure that the Rust team is putting a lot of effort to keep it that way. But by the same token, it's 2022, so maybe it's okay to drop that one constraint. Maybe that's better than stuffing a bunch of external crates right into the kernel. To set up your development environment, you're supposed to follow this like quick start guide, and there's no magic script to set up everything for you. So what are you waiting for? Go clone the master branch and see it for yourself. This is Security Union.